questions for Jeremy. <clears throat> Jeremy, just to just talk about getting the news about being named a starter. Uh, what was that like? And uh, I guess when did they tell you? Uh, I was told that yesterday. Uh, he sat down with me and Sean Bo. We're going to go as far as the team take us. But uh, like I said, it's a blessing to be the star quarterback. But not only for me, but for my whole entire city back home. And uh, like Coach Miles said, uh, a lot of people around this program got a lot of confidence in me uh, and serving my teammates. How much was a relief just to hear, you know, that the words finally, officially, that you're, you're the star? Uh, it, it felt good. And uh, like I said, it's a blessing. Uh, it's so many people in the world wish they had the opportunity that I have. And, uh, like I said, I cherry every moment I get, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to this season. I know the coaches want to you to treat this competition this spring in a certain manner, but you clearly had goals of getting this job and, and goals for next season. How tough is it to, to kind of balance handling it the way they want it, but also saying, having some confidence in yourself to say, yeah, I want to go out there and throw for 3,000, rush for 1,000. Yeah, I'm just really uh, focused on right now is just getting better in the offseason and also being a leader for the team. And uh, as long as we win it, uh, I'm, I'm happy about about that. But the goal is going to come if they come. But as long as the team win it, uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. Jerry, did you did you have any idea that it was coming this soon that you were getting word when you get it? It kind of come out of nowhere. Uh, he just he just sent, sent us a mission and just said, come meet with him yesterday at 1.30. That's called Pals Yes, sir. And then uh, we went and met one, and he told me, and then he knocked it to the team. And then that just was it. What's your teammates' reaction here? I mean, they was happy for me. Uh, they know I've been waiting for a long time, and waiting on, on my chance and moment opportunity. And uh, like I said, they believe in me, and they got a lot of confidence in me. Did uh, Sean White say anything to you after the news came out? Uh, he was happy for me, and uh, Sean been supporting me ever since the first, first day he got on campus. And uh, he's a great teammate. Uh, like I said, me and him got a relationship like me and Nick had, and all three of us had the same relationship. And uh, he's a great uh, person and a great player, and uh, he got a, a bright future ahead of him as well. Other things have you learned from Nick this past two years, just seeing him and how he handled himself in, in that starting role? And anything in particular that you saw uh, as, as a backup, certain sort of behind him, things that you saw that he'll take and, and use himself? Uh, the way he had adversity. Um, with things going uh, bad in our uh, perspective, uh, he was always the calm. And being a quarterback, you had to be that way. Uh, he never, his emotion never changed, whether we were down or up. Uh, that's the biggest thing I took for him, and just being a leader by his own. What did Coach now, my Coach Washington say is after they told you to start? Did they give you any, think this is what you want, want you to do now, or anything like that? Um, that nothing in particular, just, just still become a leader um, off the field and on the field and just lead the guy. And that's what I've been working on last spring. And that's my goal for this summer and also during the season. When you talk about being a leader, what type of things are important to you as far as being a leader? Uh, holding guys accountable off the field. And uh, that's with not having the off the field issue that we had last year. And uh, also on the field, like discipline, uh, playing from start to finish. Do you have a lot better feel for the offense than you did going into the start of spring practice about what kind of team your dad's going to have this year? Um, not not really. It's just all about the ability team chemistry because this is a new team, uh, new players, new faces. And um, really, we, we just, and that's why we got this summer to work on, just uh, with anything that we need to work on, time and routes, uh, communication, all the little things that, that can help us be successful. You know, just being a starting quarterback, you're obviously going to be somewhat the face of the program. Are you ready for that to where when people see your face and you know automatically who you are across the country? Uh, yes, sir, I'm ready for it. And uh, it's been like that even when I was in the start for a bit. Um, like I said, you got to handle yourself in a different fashion than everyone else, that people that's on the street. And, uh, I care of myself very well, I feel like. And, uh, it's a great feeling. And uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in this tradition. How important is that to you to, to carry yourself right as you just said, uh -huh. knowing your, your face is at the point of being representing something? Uh, just being mature, and uh, that's what that's what I was just focused on. The day I got here, am I am I going to be able to mature from my freshman year to this year? And like I said, I felt like I have. And I feel really good. When you got the word yesterday, did you kind of reflect back on the journey to get to this point? Uh, yes, sir. And like I said, this this 
it was just, it was God's plan. And, uh, uh, sitting out of two years, it was the most humble experience I had coming out of high school from being a star and then just sitting on the bench. Uh, it was a humble experience. That made me better as a person. It made me become a team player and a, a role player that I never had the chance the opportunity to be uh, from being a star. And, uh, like I said, it, it just made me become a role player and I see and see how other guys feel when they have to be that way. And then it just humbled me. And, uh, I feel really good. I'm glad that God put me in that uh, predicament. You know, like I said, it's a blessing to be here. Can you be the quarterback that leads Auburn to the championship? Uh, whatever God got in favor, uh, and whatever he has planned for us, for me and his team, and then that's where he take us, I feel like I do. You mentioned how Nick handled adversity, and he really performed, obviously, at his best in those tight moments, and one score game, or leading the game when he drives. Those things, there's no one's had a chance to see you do at this level yet because you're behind him. How confident are you that if you are put in that spot in the ball, that you'll be able to deliver like Nick did in that spot? Uh, Coach Madison always preached uh, uh, to handle the adversity and handle it the right way. And uh, like I said, uh, you just, you just, you can't, you can't, being a quarterback, you can't let your team see you down uh, because, like I said, they follow you. And as long as that I'm, 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 going, I'm up and I got a smile on my face and I'm moving forward and uh, I'm just thinking about the next play. I'm pretty sure they'll follow right behind me. How much have you worked with Ryan Applin here this spring, and how much do you expect to work with him in the fall? Because he was a guy who obviously threw for over 3,000 in this offense and ran for over 500, a lot of things you want to do. How much have you worked with him, and do you think you can do what he did? I work with him a lot, and uh, he always he always correct me when I'm doing wrong at practice, whether it's where my hips not open or my feet pointing in the wrong direction, which made me lead to a bad path. Um, he's a great uh, mentor, and uh, I talk to him a lot every day, all day. And uh, like I said, he, he was probably one of the, one of the best quarterbacks that's played in Coach Malvin's system as well. Cam Newton's been around a little bit this spring. Has he talked to you and given me any advice? Uh, the most uh, biggest advice he gave me was I asked him, what's your why? Why do you get up every day? Why? And he told me, the most encouraging thing he told me was, my why is I get up to be the best player to ever play this sport. And after he told me that, it was nothing, I, it was nothing that I, I didn't want to hear nothing else, but that was the most encouraging thing I, and motivation I heard in my life. And uh, I just use that same influence and that same mentality every day. I get up and just try to be the best player I can for this team and just for this whole entire program. So then, Jeremy, you, you mentioned the 3,000, rushing 4,000, those would be things that's never been done here. And Coach Craig is the only player to ever throw for $3,000. Do you want to set records? Do you want to be the next guy to do those things? Uh, like I said, whatever uh, guy got in store for me, uh, if, if, that's, if that's capable of doing, I'll do it. But if not, just as long as we win, and winning is what this uh, program like, uh, as long as we win and get over, so I'm, I'm fine with that. What do you believe your team's capable of doing this coming season? Uh, I feel like we can do a lot this season. Uh, as long as we come together as a team and we just be the more disciplined team and uh, not have the off the field issue, I feel like we're going to have a successful season. You feel like that, that hurt you guys a little bit? It took the attention away from the field? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, because the little thing what matters the most, whether you think, whether you look at it or not. You know, it kinda, that's why we had five <coughs> calls at, towards the end of the season. Anything else? All right, Jeremy.